Okay, now let's talk about the applications for thin films. Okay, as you can see, uh, thin films has many applications. Uh, one of it is the thin film solar panel. You can use the thin film uh, as a light absorbing layer uh, to for the solar panel. Uh, the, you know the solar cell. Uh, actually, the solar cell has a thin film. Uh, it can absorb light. Uh, it can absorb light. Uh, absorb light, turn the light energy become electrical energy. Uh, become electrical energy. Become heat energy. Uh, become electrical energy. So that's one of the application of thin film, the solar panel. And uh, the next one, we have this uh, ref reflective coating and non-reflective coating. Uh, you have learned about that, uh, but I haven't go into detail. Alright. Uh, so for in-phase source, two in-phase sources, you are using non-reflective coating. Uh, for the two sources anti-phase, you are using reflective coating, uh, all of this. I will explain yeah, about this non-reflective and reflective coating. Uh, okay, uh, but first of all, what is, uh, what is the characteristic of reflective coating? Reflective coating, that means uh, uh, it's used like uh, for the window film, the glass tin, yeah? the glass tin like for privacy, uh, pri for the privacy. So, of course, uh, you see uh, tinted glass, you know, the tinted glass, uh, you have tinted glass for the car, even the car also is tinted, isn't it? Tinted. I put a certain layer. Uh, normally, it's dark color. Uh, so you can see uh, outside. Yeah, you cannot see inside the car, but the passenger inside the car can see outside of the car. Uh, that's all because of uh, reflective coating. Uh, why the person outside the car cannot see into the car, uh, but you see the reflected reflected light of the image around of the surrounding. Like you see this window. You want to see inside the house, you cannot see inside the house. What you see is the reflected light. Uh, reflective coating. You see the reflected light. Um, now you see the reflected light. Uh, so this is to protect the privacy of the, uh, of the person inside the house. Yeah, privacy. Uh, uh, like the car also. So uh, yes, you see tinted, uh, tinted glass. Sometimes you have... Uh, Green, gla uh, green glass tint, uh, you know, the window film, you have green one, you have blue, you have different, different color, you see, you know, you know the tinted glass, you, have, you can put, apply different color, you can buy this from Shopee, buy this from Shopee and then uh, DIY on your own window, yeah, can also. Uh, so, uh, this uh, reflective coating is to protect the privacy. So, uh, this reflective coating is something like, um, if we are using reflective coating, are uh, you using this one? Okay, are uh, you using this one? Um, this uh, two sources anti phase. Uh, you're using like this one. Uh, uh, this is the thin film, and this is the wind, the glass. What I can say is, uh, you follow this one low reflective index, higher reflective index, and then it back to low. Uh, what I can say is, like, it's something like this lah. Uh, the it follow, it follow this sequence, yeah, it follow low, high, low, low, high, low. Uh, reflective index, uh, yeah, for the reflective coating. So um, uh, maybe I should draw like that. Uh, I follow this one, low, high, low. What I can say is I follow the low, low, and yeah, and then high, high, and two, and then the back to low, and three. Uh, so outside is air, isn't it? Uh, we know is uh, is air. Uh, outside outside is uh, air yeah yeah outside outside means outside of the window lah is air and then um, and then the glass tin uh, this is the this is the glass the window film the glass tin the tin the glass tin or the we can say the window film uh, you know the film which is this one this one this one is the window film uh, the glass tin and then it, this window film is protecting the window glass uh, protecting the window the last layer is of course the window window uh, glass uh, window glass itself uh, window glass uh, we know that normally uh, window uh, air is reflective index is equal to one uh, the window glass normally is uh, 1.5 so uh, you need what? So the glass tint in the middle of it, uh, yeah, the window glass. Uh, this window film is protecting the window glass. Okay, yeah, it just 
on uh, covering on top of the window glass. So uh, this window film, you need to put what value? What what refractive index is suitable? Must be higher than both layer. Uh, this window film must has higher refracting that rather higher refracting index than the air and also the glass. That means it must be more than one point five. It must be one more than one point five. This one must be one point eight lah, around one point eight like that. Ah, so this is the one, the window film. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, you can use a green color or blue color. Uh, maybe this one I want to try green color, uh, because it looks green to me. Yeah, uh, I use green, green window film. Ah, uh, okay. Ah, uh, so this is the um yeah the uh, low high low uh, reflecting index. You will get you will get what you will get uh two anti phase source to result. To give this result of reflective coating. Okay, maybe you will ask me why not the dark fringe? Why use the bright fringe for this one? Why the reflective coating only refer to the bright fringe but not the dark fringe? Ah, reflective coating, you know, it must uh, successfully reflect light to reflect light to produce the bright fringe. Uh, or can say can see, you can see the image lah. Uh, you can see the image of the surrounding because you see the reflected light. Uh. I can say that this is surrounding the incident light, incident light, uh, incident light coming, and then we can see uh, the yeah reflected, uh, reflected. Uh, this is the reflected light, uh, and reflected light. You can see the image clearly. Uh, this is called reflective coating. Means uh, you can see the reflected light clearly. Means it's bright fringe. You understand or not? If you can see the image of the surrounding uh, of the reflected light means it's forming bright fringe lah. Uh, bright fringe on your eye. You know? Uh, bright fringe. Uh, so bright fringe. Why and but why not dark fringe? Why not dark fringe? Why bright fringe? The the answer is simple. Why bright fringe? Why reflective coating refer to bright fringe? Because we want to build the flum as thin as possible. You understand or not? We want to build this uh, window flum as thin as possible. Uh, so, this reflective coating, we want to be as thin as possible. So, in order to have the uh, thinnest uh, flum, thinnest flum out of these two, out of these two, uh, or actually I should uh, say that um, if you compare this one, uh, the in-phase source and the non-in-phase source, okay, uh, which one will build thinner coating? Yeah? We don't want to have a very thick Thick flum. We don't want to have a very thick flum. We want to have the thinnest flum. Uh, the thinnest flum. Look at which one can produce the thinnest flum. Ah, uh, you see, this one. If you put, uh, let's say dark fringe. Uh, the thin. Uh, let's say okay. Let's say we use this one. Uh, let's say we use the in face source. In face source. Um, let's say this one. Uh, if we we want to have a reflective coating, we refer to the bright fringe. If we refer to this bright fringe. Look at this one. If you use the bright fringe over here, okay, what's the smallest order you can put this one? Cannot be equal to zero, isn't it? The smallest order equal to one lambda. Ah, this one equal to thickness equal to one lambda. Ah, one lambda is considered thick. Considered thick. Because if you compare to the, the one anti phase, this one you can build what? You can put m equal to zero, you can build the thickness equal to uh 0 plus half, uh, 0 plus half lambda, so that means the thickness is uh, almost half lambda. Uh, which one can build the uh, thinnest flum? Is it for, for, this, for this one? Uh, the Using the 1 lambda? Using the 1 lambda or you want the half lambda? Or you want the half lambda? Uh, of course this one, half lambda, is thinner, isn't it? It's thinner, uh, safe cost. Okay, uh, people who build this uh, window thing want to save cost, save material. Uh, save cost, save material. So if you can build the same effect uh, of bright fringe, if you want to, this one reflective with bright fringe, you want to save cost, you want to use the uh, thin, uh, the thickness with one lambda or you want the thickness of the material of one lambda or you want the thickness of just half lambda. If you want the save cost, save material, of course you build as as thin as possible to have the same effect. To have the same effect. Uh, this one, one lambda can produce the same effect as 
this half lambda. Why not you just use the thick thickness of the film of just half lambda? Ah, save cost. That's why use this one. Use the one with empty face. That means the the refractive index, refractive index of the film must be higher than both sides lah. Higher than both sides to have this empty face source. Uh, to have this uh, to to have this reflective coating to have the black fringe form yeah? out of this formula uh, so we can see we we want we choose the one with m plus half lambda uh, that will produce give us the smallest thickness of flum uh, okay uh, that's why this one is this anti phase one is using uh, the reflective coating Okay, refer if refer to the bright fringe here. Understand or not? Uh, that's the reflective coating. Okay, now about the non-reflective coating. Uh, non-reflective coating that means uh, used for lenses or glass. You know, this uh, glass uh, has also a film. You know that sometimes we call it Hoya. Yeah? Uh, now we have the technology called Hoya technology. Yeah, Hoya technology. Uh, this all all these are film. You know, uh, thin film. It reduces a glare, a clearer vision. Uh, you see this person. You 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 like to uh, see this person. Which which picture you like the most? Of course, the right one. You don't like the left one. You cannot see the person's face. Uh, this one you can see the person's face clearer, more beautiful, more striking. The 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 eyes. Uh, we like this one because. It reduces the glare. It reduces the reflected light. Uh, because it's non-reflective coating. That means. Uh, this one got incident light comes, incident light comes, uh, incident light comes, and then uh, the reflected light, the reflected light, wow, this is like Superman, uh? <laughs> okay, uh, reflect, the reflected light is uh, cancel each other to form a dark fringe, uh, to form a dark fringe, uh, so you don't see the image, you don't see the image around, like, unlike the, the window film, window film can see the image around because it reflects the bright fringe. This one you don't see the image around because it don't reflect the light. Dark fringe they cancel each other. Uh, the reflected light or being cancel cancel each other. Cancel or it become missing already. Why they make the light the reflected light become missing? Why the reflected light become missing? Because it cancel each other. Destructive interference they form dark fringe. Uh, you don't see the the reflected light. So this is what we call non reflective coating uh, for lenses. For lenses it reduces the glare. So uh, it's like uh, like this one. Uh, it, uh, which one is re uh, non-reflective coating? Not which one is non-reflective coating? Uh, not this one. Not the anti-phase one. It use the in-phase one. Uh, two sources in-phase, which is a uh, non-reflective coating. Refer to the refer to the dark fringe. Uh, again, the same concept. Why we uh, we use the dark fringe dark fringe for these two in-phase sources? Instead of use the dark fringe for the one anti phase, why not use the dark fringe for anti phase? The M lambda one. Why we use the the dark fringe for in phase with M plus half lambda? Again, we want to save cost, save material, isn't it? We can build half of the thickness, half of the thickness of the film to produce the same effect. Why not use the half of the material to save the cost? Ah, uh, so again, this one. This one same same concept. Uh, this one because m plus half lambda, you can make the thickness uh two nt equal to just uh zero plus half lambda, uh, which is equal just half lambda. Uh, instead, uh, the thickness is just uh less than half lambda. But this one, the this one, if you put this one, the m cannot go to zero. M can only be equal to one. That means the thickness is equal to uh one lambda. Uh, uh, one lambda. So uh this one you build the film twice as thick twice as thick this one you just you build the film half as thick so why not use the half as thick to save the material save the cost so that's why we use this one two in phase sources uh with in, two in phase sources uh we use <coughs> the uh, dark fringe for this one we don't use the we don't use the dark fringe for this one uh because this one it, it, the film become thicker uh waste material waste material uh, this one you can build thinner, thinner coating for the the spec. You don't like a heavy spec. You want the lightweight spec, isn't it? Uh, 
Also, if you thicker thicker film, it reduces the light entering. So less vision, isn't it? Uh, so we want to save. Uh? So this one can build a thick thinness uh, film. So uh, we use this one, uh, half lambda. So that's why we use a dark fringe for in-face source to build the non-reflective coating. So uh, it must follow this one. Uh, low, higher, highest. Low, higher, highest. Uh, that means uh, like 1, 1 1.5, 3.5. It must follow this sequence. Lah. Uh, so that means uh, for this non-reflective coating, it, uh, I can draw it out. It uses it like this. It is like this. Um, it is the, what I can say, it uses um, low uh, and then higher, highest, uh, highest reflective index. So N1 is uh, N2, N3, uh, N3. So that means uh, we know that outside is air and then inside is the glass or lenses the, or glass. This is my lens, my lens. So what is uh, protecting the lens? The glass, the lens, all must be inside. All must be the, the last layer, you see? The window glass, the window glass, and the lenses, all must be, be at, the, at the bottom layer. Huh? Don't put the window glass and the lenses at the middle layer. Yeah? Is the film protect the window? It is the film protect the lenses, not the lens protect the film. Not the window glass protect the glass tin. You understand? It is the glass tin with the window film protect the window glass. It is the film protect the lens, not the lens protect the film. You understand? Uh, so don't get it wrong. So it is the coating. Uh, this is the coating uh, film. Uh, the coating film, the, what we say, the Hoya. The Hoya, the Hoya one uh, protecting the lens. So it must follow low, higher, highest. That means it, uh, it must be um, uh, the one and the glass is normally 1.5. So the coating here higher should be 1.33, lah, around like that. Lah. Uh, so you follow that, that one, 1, 1.33. So the, this uh, coating flow must be 1.33. Unlike that one, 1 1.8. Uh, this one, 1 1.8. This one, only 1.33. 1.33 uh, 1 and then 1.5. Uh, so this one produce the um uh, this one the this the, the effect uh which one uh this one okay dark fringe okay so remember to see whether it's a non-reflective coating or reflective coating or always choose the one with the smallest thinness uh smallest thickness uh okay whenever what i can say uh conclusion what i can say to produce the reflective coating or non-reflective coating always choose whether it is a reflective coating or non-reflective coating, always choose smallest thickness. Uh, smallest thickness uh, of film because to save material and cost. Understand? Uh, okay, that's that's it for um that's it for uh for this one. Okay, always use the one with half lambda. Uh, see now reflective coating is using half lambda uh, the reflective coating also use the half lambda because they produce the smallest thickness uh, they produce the smallest thickness okay so that's it for um, for the application of thin film yeah uh, yeah so that's it for uh, for this one okay and the next video we will discuss about single slit diffraction thank you